What's good, family? How y'all doing? Um, I should probably be asleep. Actually, I'm about to go to bed in a few minutes. It's um, about 12, 15 here at night. It's Friday now. I got to go go to bed because I promised my wife's mom I'd sleep better because I don't sleep normally and I need to get some bed. But I sit there and want to tell you something real quick that I'm going to start later on making. I don't know if it's part two or part three because I don't keep up with nothing. The black, orthodox, and American thing or being black, orthodox. Yeah, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I anyway, so I'm going to do that because I was watching this video of um this uh this black dude i follow on uh youtube and he's talking about how some like new rappers in the states are starting to wear like upside down crosses and triple sixes and stuff and and they they don't know what it is you know what i'm saying i'll link the video or something so y'all can check it out. it's pretty cool it's got a lot of profanity in it so sorry about that but you know, it's pretty cool um and i'm sitting there watching it and i'm thinking like yo all these black folk I don't know, I can't say all these black folk, I don't know how many of them, but, you know, it seems to be a, a, a good number of black folk that don't know nothing about, or seem to know very little about the the, um, the importance of Africa when it comes to Christianity. Now, if you're not into Christianity and you just want to leave it for something else, I mean, that's, that's, that's your choice. Um, you know, can't force nothing on nobody, but I'm like, come on, man. That's why Jesus made Google. I'm just saying, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I, I put a little comment in the video, not not directing at the person who made the video, because the video was, was uh, I think, a, a, a sort of a comedic look on that whole situation. But just as a response to the situation he was commenting on, I was like, it, it's kind of sad. I mean, if if they, you know, talking about I wear the upside down cross because it represents like the unknown or undoing these conventions we had about, I, you know, religion or whatever. I'm like, how come you don't know about Africa when it comes to Christianity? How come you don't know about actually when St. Peter was martyred, he said they've been martyred by turning his, the cru when he was crucified, turning his cross upside down because he felt unworthy to be crucified in the same fashion as the Lord. How actually, if you want to spin it properly, the upside down cross is kind of a show of kind of, sort of humility, kind of, right? He's like, yo, I can't, I can't be the same way as the Lord is. I, I, I can't turn me upside down. I can't, I can't, I can't face him the same way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, be that right or wrong, I mean, the saint was like, yo, no, nah. nah, man, turn my upside down. I can't, I can't, you know, it's, it, I don't know if it was humility or if it's, if it's guilt, I don't know what it was, but it was not anything demonic, you know what I'm saying? Um, and now I'm like, what's up with young black folk, not young black folk, but yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, people don't know about St. Moses the Black, St. Uh, uh, Mary of Egypt and all the other, you know, African saints and the, Af the history of Christianity in Egypt and Africa and uh, well, the Middle East for that for that matter, uh, the Indian subcontinent for that matter. And I ain't, I ain't knocking nobody for not knowing this stuff because hell, I didn't know any of this stuff at all. And I'm really happy I've been blessed to learn it, you feel me? And so um, I wish more black folk in America learned, knew about it, you know what I'm saying? that a lot of black folk in America went from seeing Christianity as something that was forced upon um, our ancestors, you know, the, the ones that came from Africa into the Americas as to something that has been a part of our history, if you're looking at Africa as, as a, in, in sort of a general sense, for centuries, you know what I'm saying, that is not actually from the white man. The white man didn't force Christianity on Africans. If anything, it, it, it kind of like, I don't know. I'm not going to continue that because I had something, but I'm not going to, it's almost 1230 night. I'm not going to get myself in trouble for, for being stupid because I'm stupid already. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to later on get more into depth into this topic, but I really do wish black folk knew more about 
um, the role Africa has in Christianity and the beauty that that um, that that exists in that um, and also today or not like I think yesterday I saw a video on Facebook where there's a new bishop elected and I think it was for Uganda he's young I think it's Bishop Sil Silvestros I think um, and may God grant him many years and um, he's a young 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 man maybe 30s he looks 30s mid 30s something like that he looked like he looked like the real uh, 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 Black Panther the real Wakanda you know what I'm saying uh, I loved it loved it I heard him I watched a video on his uh, on Facebook of him giving a speech or a homily I guess I couldn't understand it's all in Greek um, but it was amazing and you know more black folks should know about that and especially black folk in America because just whatever anyway I'm gonna go to bed I love y'all holla at me uh, say something down there y'all talk to me because y'all not don't know what I'm doing and y'all have a good night